never could invite But somehow you make me change Like I'm better off So today I think I would like to bring you guys behind the scenes on how I make my edits because I haven't done edits in actually a really long time and I think I'll be doing one right now. So um, yeah, I just thought you guys would be interested to see how I make my edits and of course if I have any room for improvement or if you have any advice for me to leave down in the comments. So yeah, basically I usually join this game called Animations MoCat, which is what I'm in right now and I would link it down in the description below so that you guys could check it out and maybe even do your own edits. And yeah, after I join, basically I'll go over to the Roblox catalog, which is basically the avatar shop over here and here why i like this game is because you can actually like use any um clothing item from the roblox shop without using robux so all you have to do is click on wardrobe press add and insert the asset id so right now we're just going to be browsing in the catalog for something so this edit is actually going to be um the up challenge by kepler and it's more of like a summer um, pool party vibe, if you get me. Yeah, so that's kind of the vibe I'll be looking for. I think I'll just go search by like a theme first to see what I get. In the URL, there will be this um, code thing, which is like a lot of numbers. And basically, let's just copy that. And then going back to Roblox, you could paste that in and press confirm yep it looks something like that and there we have it we have the hair that we just got and let's cancel everything else and we look nicer already and then that's basically what i'm going to be doing with the rest of my clothing items you can really choose anything you want since it's all free to use in this game so yeah, I usually take like hours to pick an outfit, so I'm just going to be doing that right now. So yep, I think that's going to be about it for my um, avatar. So I'm going to be move on to the recording part, which is kind of hard and requires a bit of thought. So we'll be back then. Okay, so basically I just decided to install a green screen just for this one because I realized they actually removed a lot of maps and islands from the game. So um, yeah, I feel like a green screen would fit this theme more. If you're wondering how I made the dance, I just chose a random dance and the usual one that I use is star and when I click on it, it'll begin. And to cover up everything else apart from my character, I just press this icon over here. So I'm perfectly ready to record my edit. And there, I just finished recording. It's always better to record a bit more than what you need so you could kind of like play around with the transitions and the effects to make sure you have enough footage and once we're done with that we can move on to the editing part and if you do want to save your avatar items you could go and save the code from the roblox page because the, the avatar items don't save on you so once you leave the game they'll all be gone so guys continuing from last time here we are in canva where i usually do my edits i might be finding a better software in the future but for now i think canva works fine so i'm here in a template called mobile video so i'm going to be clicking on the video clip and wait until it finishes loading here we go so both clips are now the same length so i'll need to be resizing this which is actually a bit of a pain because i'm gonna i'm gonna lose the nice background here 
But you know what, we'll have to go with it. Maybe I'll just cut off the palm trees. I think that's this actually looks pretty decent. Now, and I'll be adding like better effects in CapCut, which is the next app I'm going to be using on my phone. I'm going to be um, exporting this now by the share button and downloads. And then I'm going to be emailing that to myself so that I can put it on CapCut on my phone and then I'll be able to add some effects and nice transitions over there. Okay guys, after like 2 million years, I finally figured out how to do the recording on my phone. So yeah, here I am in CapCut, which is the app that I usually use. And you should probably be able to search it up in the app store or the google play store and yeah basically all i've done is just put my video clip that i just downloaded from canva and emailed to myself and i downloaded it into my camera roll and then i put it onto CapCut. and so here it is now this might be a bit of um it might be a bit laggy but hopefully that's okay so first of all i'm just going to be clicking on this video clip over here yep just like that and then um i am going to be scrolling at the bottom until yep here we have it extract audio and then we are going to be doing something with the beats so let's just click on the audio track that has appeared at the bottom um and let's do match cut and I'll just press auto generate over there because I think usually auto generate works very well for me. Let's press the tick and check where they put the beats. This will be very useful for the transitions later. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear the audio clearly while I'm playing this, but um, hopefully it's fine. Ooh, the beats are pretty accurate. Yeah, that's nice. It usually is pretty good. So yeah, I think we'll just we're just gonna go with these beats. So I've figured out where I wanted to split since this kind of this is kind of like based on what song you're doing and how the audio sounds. So yeah, there's not really much of a default number of beats you have to split at, but I just feel like this is a very good place to split since it's the start of the new verse and i'll just do that for the rest of the song which will take a while so i'll just pause right here and there i've just split all of them into different clips and in cap cut um there will be this default outro kind of watermark thing that says cap cut and i probably you probably want to delete it so just click the ending and press delete so the next work thing we're going to be doing is doing the animations and then we can use we can just move our slider to the middle of where these two clips intersect we have to click the front clip and press animation combo yes there we go there are quite a lot of animations over here that we could use this one looks good, spinning top. And then to the next split, animation, combo. And basically this is just what you do with all the other clips that you have. And we'll see you back then. Right guys, so after nearly an hour, I finally finished putting in all the transitions. We are going to be doing the overlays. Or is, is it the overlays? No. It's not. Let's try the effects. I usually work with the effects better.
Right, so this is basically the end of the video, and I sincerely apologize for how messy this video is, but hopefully it gave you more insight on how I make my edits, and maybe inspired you to do your own. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the post notifications if you did. Please leave me a comment down below on anything you want to tell me. See you next time, and bye!